Welcome back to Dan Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie, The One I Love, released in the year 2014. The film opens on a married couple, Ethan and Sophie, as they seek therapy to address the distance they both feel within the relationship. Although Ethan wants to work things out, Sophie seems to think he's not trying hard enough and she has lost interest in the relationship. During the session, the therapist asks both of them to play a similar key on a piano. He concludes that they are in fact disconnected and suggests they spend a weekend away at a secluded estate to reconnect with each other. After settling into the house, Ethan spots a guest cottage on the property and learns that whoever came to the house before loved it and left great remarks about it. At night, as Ethan is busy in the kitchen, Sophie goes to the guest cottage and starts looking around. When Ethan shows up and begins talking to her, the two end up having sex and proclaim their love for each other, but when Sophie returns to the main house, she finds Ethan asleep on the couch. When she tries to talk to him about their interaction at the cottage, he denies any memory of it. This behavior further annoys Sophie and she goes to her bedroom alone while Ethan decides to have a look at the cottage. There, he again rests, but Sophie comes over and apologizes to him before falling asleep by his side. When he wakes up the next morning, Sophie tells him she is making eggs and bacon for him, which seems a bit odd because he knows she hates it. After thinking for a moment, he tries to talk about their fight the night before, but she does not pay any attention to it and says she is just happy they are spending more time together. He becomes suspicious of her behavior and returns to the main house where, to his surprise, Sophie is coming out of the bathroom looking like she just woke up. He doesn't understand what's happening and so he takes her to the cottage, but there are no signs of Sophie or the breakfast she made. The two then both reveal they had interactions with each other the night before, but neither has any memory of the other's story. This leads to another argument, but determined to get to the bottom of it, Ethan asks Sophie to wait outside while he goes back to the cottage, where he finds Sophie too taking a bath. He tries to explain it to his wife, but when she doesn't believe him, he urges her to go check by herself. This time, Sophie finds Ethan too working out in the guest house and begins talking to him again. The couple is scared by this strange encounter and decide they must leave the estate. They stop at a restaurant on their way home where they discuss the incident. Sophie thinks it has to be some kind of other dimension or parallel universe where doubles of them exist. Ethan suggests they should just let it go, but Sophie insists on going back to the house to find some answers, and he cautiously agrees as he didn't feel any danger around the doubles. On the way back, Ethan says he's uncomfortable with the fact that his wife slept with his other self, but she makes it clear that she would never cheat on him if she knew it wasn't really him. As the phenomenon doesn't work when both are inside the cottage, Ethan goes in first and tries Sophie's breakfast while she tries to start a conversation with him. Ethan then invites her for a walk, but she declines. He then realizes she never leaves the house. He comes outside and tells Sophie that her mere self is exactly like her and he can't spot any differences. He comes up with the idea that Sophie should mention something from his past to Ethan too and find out if he has the same memories but she refuses, thinking this might offend him. The couple later decides to put down some ground rules for visiting the cottage, taking any intimacy off the table. They also promise each other to be honest about what happens and quit if something feels uncomfortable. Next, it is Sophie's turn to go back, but she tells Ethan to go back to the main house as she does not want him waiting outside. This time, she finds Ethan too drawing her portrait. She admires his painting skills and the two have a great time together, enjoying each other's company. Meanwhile, Ethan becomes impatient and peeks inside the cottage, where he sees Sophie getting a massage from Ethan too and becomes offended. When Sophie leaves the cottage, Ethan argues with her over being too intimate with his other self. On realizing she hurt him, she apologizes while assuring him that she will keep a distance from him. He questions her recent interaction with Ethan too, and she admits that she admires his personality and thinks he looks more stylish and charming than him. 
Becoming jealous of the other Ethan, he decides to spy on them by leaving his phone hidden in the cottage while recording. The next morning, Sophie leaves the cottage after having another enjoyable interaction with Ethan too. The real Ethan then tries to retrieve his phone but finds it's not there. When inside, Sophie too again appears and hands over his phone saying she just found it at the house. But he is surprised that the phone only recorded noise and nothing of his wife's conversation with Ethan too. Meanwhile, Ethan too and Sophie are becoming closer with each other and break the couple's rules by becoming intimate once again. That night, the real Ethan looks through his stuff and finds some of his clothes are missing. He tells Sophie about it, but she doesn't seem to pay much attention as she is busy with Ethan too on the phone. The next morning, Ethan too and Sophie too talk about problems in their marriage. She accuses him of cheating on her, to which he apologizes and tries to sort things out. Back at the main house, Ethan starts an argument with Sophie as he thinks she is getting too close to his other self. Despite well knowing that he is not real, which is something he would never do to her. While outside, Ethan listens to some voice notes from his friends and family who claim he called them the night before. When he hears his own voice replying to them, he realizes it must be the other Ethan because he never called anyone. After returning to the house, he lies to Sophie about going to the grocery store, really going to the guest house instead, pretending to be Ethan too. When Sophie arrives, thinking she is with Ethan too, she tells him that he is the ideal version of her husband and they have sex. Ethan then returns home with his usual hairstyle and glasses and finds Sophie sitting on the couch, but neither of them mention what had just happened. The next day, he finds Sophie coming out of the guest house, but she goes back after looking at him. While talking to Ethan too, she realizes he is wearing the same sweater that went missing from their house, but he ignores her question and distracts her. Meanwhile, an angry Ethan barges in and argues with her, but she holds him responsible for Ethan too's disappearance. He tries to remind her that he is not real and they have to go back to their normal life but she refuses to go back with him. They go back to the main house while fighting, but find the other couple waiting for them. As they spend the evening together, Ethan too tells them it's happening because of a cosmic anomaly, but none of them understand the reason. They seem to be aware of the reality that they were impersonating the real Ethan and Sophie. Knowing that Sophie got close to Ethan too, Ethan can't bear him being in the same house and keeps on arguing with him while holding him responsible for his deteriorating relationship. Meanwhile, as the girls share a drink together, Sophie too also shares the same feelings for Sophie and accuses her of getting too close to her husband. The conversation further gets heated as Ethan too reveals that Ethan took his place the other day and slept with Sophie at the cottage while pretending to be him. Seeing Sophie devastated by this admission, Ethan tries to explain himself, but she furiously asks him to leave. He then goes to the cottage, where he finds files from different couples' therapy sessions and searches for the one with his and Sophie's names on it. The file contains recordings from all their sessions, as well as different audio clips in which the other couple practices impersonating them. He also sees his and Sophie's pictures and tries to rush out but finds himself locked inside. Later, Sophie too opens the door to let him out and tells him that she and Ethan too were supposed to make them fall out of love because that was the only way they could escape this place. Now Ethan too is in love with Sophie and wants to leave with her instead of his own wife but she can't let that happen. She informs him that he was locked there because their different selves cannot be in the same place for long and the closer they get, the more difficult it would be to leave. As only two people can leave this place, she agrees to help him go out with Sophie because she loves her husband and doesn't want him to leave with another woman. As she explains the entire situation to him, Ethan too and Sophie get ready for a hike which they planned along with their other selves. Sophie too and Ethan return to the house and she takes Sophie to talk to her in private. 
In her room, Ethan tries to explain everything to her, while Sophie too comes downstairs while pretending to be the real Sophie. The real Ethan explains to Sophie that the entire weekend was a trap and their other selves knew about it from the beginning. Downstairs, Ethan too proclaims his love for her, thinking she is the real Sophie, and asks her to leave with him. As she agrees to go with him, he kisses her, but then realizes she is his real wife. He gets angry with her and intends to fight with the other Ethan, but he locks himself and Sophie in the room. He apologizes for his mistakes and accepts that he is not perfect, but wants to work things out because he loves her and doesn't want to mess up their relationship. Ethan too then breaks into the room and starts fighting him. After realizing that none of them is on his side, he runs back to the guest house but hits an invisible barrier and passes out. Ethan looks at both Sophies and finds one is distressed while the other smiles at him. He takes her with him as they drive away from the estate, leaving the other couple behind. After returning to the city, they try to talk to their therapist but find his office is empty and they head back home. One morning, as they happily wake up next to each other, Sophie intends to prepare breakfast for him. When he asks about it, she says that she is making bacon and eggs. In response, he takes a long pause, trying to figure out the truth, but decides to join her downstairs. That was all from the video. Subscribe for more content like this and leave a like to help the channel out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Take care.